Hey there, today we're going to check out Rhyolite, which is the uh, ghost town out in Nevada. Thought it'd be cool to go see it, and let's get started. All right, here we are on the northbound 14. We're about 20 miles north of the 58, heading up towards our turnoff to get started into the deep Mojave Desert. And it's a beautiful, cloudless, blue sky day. Hey there. Well, look at this. I'm smack in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Isn't it beautiful? For anybody who's not familiar with the Mojave Desert around the world, it's a big desert and very arid and really a lot of blue sky around. And you can see across the road here. We're on a tiny little road somewhere, I think north of the 395 by about probably five or six miles. Check out these formations in the middle of the desert. Kind of reminds me of the kind of rocks you might see in Chatsworth, but this is a lot more of them. Say the trails driving here in Trona. It's really good. Good burgers. You can see they have outdoor seating. They have indoor seating, it's great. Here's the inside of the restaurant here. Hey there, still in the middle of the Mojave Desert, a little further, I'd say about uh, 10 miles north of Trona. I love these desert highways here, or roads I should say, they're like rust red, I've always loved that. So you can see these road is just rust red here and still amongst the hills that have rocks and that kind of thing here. Look at these wild burrows in the middle of the desert, no joke. They're sitting here in the middle of the desert. We're in the middle of the Mojave on a road that I don't even know the name of, which is kind of partway through Death Valley. And these guys are just sitting there. I want to know how they eat or drink or what. That's crazy. Really high. We're going right now between three and four thousand feet. We just came off the valley floor from Death Valley just a few minutes ago, but we've gone up really, really high and quickly. If you look in front here, you can see the road winding through these mountains here. Behind me, you can see Death Valley floor way back there. We just got to Rhyolite. Got a big guy with a pickaxe behind us over there. You want to take a look at this furniture here? Let's go over here. Is that cool? It's like an art exhibit here, basically. Here we are. So this is a, looks like a sofa made of some sort of textile. And Take a look what's around here. Just a huge pile of carols. I don't know what this was, but it looks like it was a some sort of housing. 
art installation over here. Yes. Is that cool? Fold up paper bird, but made of metal. There's a huge box. I found a few little artifacts over here. There's some old buildings in a little, I don't know if you call it a water tower or what, this is small. Right here. And then you have this old cabin here. An old truck. Here we are, we're now at the Rhyolite old train boxcar. So this is how they used to be made. They were made of wood back then. You see, wood. I wonder if you can, it's got a fence around it so you can't go in, but probably hold the camera up. You can kind of see into there. Anyways. So you can see that was definitely an old boxcar and they really meant boxcar back then. If you think about like the Union Pacific boxcars now, they're so ginormous compared to this, you know. This is, see the wood on the bottom. And then it's got the little, I don't know, if that was like an observation unit or if it was like an air conditioning unit. Out there was air conditioning back then. We can get out from here. Look at the ladder. Do you see the ladder there going up and down? Just everything was just wood, old wood. Again, the another side of the box car, probably the back. Back or the front, I'm not sure. And then you have metal, looks like there were metal, like there's a metal ladder going up on each side that's only one rung on the bottom of there now, but that still has some rungs. And there's something hanging on the top. Maybe that was like the light for the, the red light lantern for the caboose or something that hung up on that little, those two arms there, who knows. This is the old train station. Cool. It's all boarded up now, fenced. But this was the old train station. Rylite Ghost Casino. And then under that just said Rylite, so it looked like they had two signs at different times. Isn't that cool? Look at that. 
So which side the train came on, I'm not sure. Whichever side would have had a platform. I feel I feel like it was on the top where we just were. Brenda thought it was on the bottom here. I don't think so because look, there's a stair. There's stairs going up there. And this is probably like some other area here. People climb up the stairs, go up to the platform. So I think where the road was, is now is where the platform was. Look, if you look down here, you can see ruins right down there. We'll visit those in just a little bit. But that is the train station. See, I think, I think the platform would have been on this side. That's my guess over here. It's got the shape of a Taco Bell, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we are in Rhyolite and we have some buildings here that are completely old. Cook Bank Building. There it is. I'm sure it's on the internet. You can find that. And you can see there. That was the bank. What I like to see, it's cool, you can see the, let's see if I could just aim the camera for you here, that internal structure in there of like the, whatever their version of rebarb would be back then, just steel girders, I guess. Isn't that cool? Look at the plaster on the side of the building, isn't that neat? Just cool the way it's kind of slowly coming apart there. But as for the bank, it's no longer a bank, but look how big it was. Wow. It's got, look at this, like, cement concrete in the front. Like, could be, like, New York City or something back in the day. But look around in the middle of this mining area. Let's see what this says over here. We're talking about a Senator Stewart. There's something you gotta be careful around here, look. Rattlesnakes. And if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there are three mine tunnels. It's amazing. Look at the train station from here. It's really impressive. Okay, we're gonna see another uh, you see another ruin here, and it looks like it's yonder over here. We're like surrounded by them. Look, all back there, and we're going to this one over here. I'm just trying to make it so that we don't end up, I'm gonna end up standing on a rattlesnake. Right? One time I was shooting a, a let's see, it was a either History Channel or a, what's the other one I used to do? I did, and I was at the Disney Ranch, like right kind of in among there, and I was walking, I had sneakers, I didn't have boots, and I was being careful not to step on anything. I was looking down, and this guy behind me goes, you just almost stepped on a baby rattlesnake. And I looked, and inside these cracks, we were like in a dry river, like a dry, or like a dry reservoir or something, a natural reservoir. And there's those like mud with all the cracks in it. And I stepped right over a baby rattler that was um, in one of those cracks. And sure enough, when he told me that I turned around, there it was, it's like somehow I didn't see it. So you gotta be really careful. Okay, so here is the, look at that. Looks nice, the ruin.
actually go up to the um, sign over here and see what it was. Let's see. So this was Rylite Schoolhouse. So that was a schoolhouse. Another ruin over here. That was something. Looks like there was a lower level for something down there. Maybe a vault was in here or something. I don't know. So right here was the miners' union hall. There's a picture of it. And then there are the ruins right there. This is where they were. This had their union meetings. This was the Porter Brothers store. Now let's take a look. So, this right here, as you can see them. It's got also that kind of an old timey cinder block. It's not really cinder block, but it's old, huge brick, you know. This is the Overbury building. Right here is the Overbury building. It's left of it anyways. And there's still a lot of like walls left and that kind of thing. And it looks like this was one of the entrances over here actually. If you look at the cement, it's interesting. It just looks like regular concrete. Look at that. It's really falling apart. This is what this rock looks like. Kind of see, it's it's actually pretty light, and it's porous. Wow. This is there. What it looked like. It's funny because the sign just said Bureau of Land Management. So that's who kind of operates this, if you want to call it operating. So here's the jail. So this is the front office, probably. See, there's a locked door here. Wow, it's really locked. And that is some tough metal there. Some windows for the, the um, staff. And then I'm guessing the jail... This is the back part of this. Oh yes. Check this out. Yeah, that's hard to get out of a jail like that. Those bars are there. Oh, someone got out of those bars. But you know what? This is why you always should know a nice woman who bake you a cake with a metal file in it so you can file your way out of the jail bars. There's Brenda. Doing her staffing duties. We're in a miner's cabin. Here it is. Okay, well here we are at the Rhyolite Mines. There's actually three of them that we can see up here. We're just gonna go to the one that's really pretty close here. And um, let's go walk up to it. Come on along. Just wanna make sure we don't get any rattlesnakey poos here. Just climb up here. Too bad we didn't bring our boots. Brenda and I both Set up, made the plan to have our boots with us, but you know, sometimes you forget things. We remembered everything else except for our boots, but anyways, we're not climbing up. So here we are. Here it is. That was pretty easy. Now, the two other mines are much higher, but this one is just right here. There's the mine. And then just to give you the view from here, here it is.
Now this is really cool. We're at the Tom Kelly Bottle House. And I'm just gonna go right to it. You don't need to see the information about it, just look at it. So you're walking down a path here. And look, bottle glass. Is that cool? Look, he even made bottles for the little walkway going in the dirt there. Isn't that cool? Did a good job. Well, we had a great day here in Rhyolite, Nevada. And uh, I recommend this to anybody. It's just a lot of fun. It's just nice to be out in the open desert. These ruins and structures and you know parts of history here with this mining town rhyolite nevada and uh hope you make it it's a great Falling down there twice now, two times. What is going on there? I keep thinking this rock steady and I step on it. <laughs> I just see this legs and ass up in the air. Me say meow meow. If you like what you saw, please give the subscribe button a pop and check out another video here.